Welcome again, once again, to Pepsi Stadium in Tigerville, South Carolina, home of uh, your North Greenville Crusaders, as they take on Columbia International University, the Rams of Columbia International University. Uh, the kickoff is set at 7 o'clock, about five minutes till the, the kickoff. And uh, we're going through the open lineups right now. Uh, I am Luke Edwards, and I'm joined here today with my partner in crime, Trace Huggins. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to have you with us on our Ustream of North Greenville University for our soccer matchup for the evening. It is uh, October 2nd. It is a beautiful night here in Tigerville, about beautiful 80 degrees. Weather. Perfect night for soccer. And... Uh, just real quick while we got a few minutes, let's go through through some stats of uh, the season so far. Go ahead and start with North Greenville and the Crusaders. North Greenville's last game was a 3-1 loss to Limestone. Uh, North Greenville's only goal was by Joel Johnson, number 29. Uh, and uh, we had 10 saves by our goalie, DJ Parker. Uh, on the season, North Greenville has 12 yellow cards this season, so they probably play very aggressive. They've only they've allowed ten goals in the second half, and they compared to their six in the first half. They have failed to score a goal in the second half, so I think that'll be a key to the matchup, Luke. That will be if North Greenville can score in, in late in the game. Uh, the only scores for North Greenville this year are Johnson and Arango with only one goal, but our number ten Wiserick has nine shots compared to his teammates with only four. This and here now we'll go over the lineup for the CIU Rams. Um, well, the CIU Rams are 5-3-2 on the year. They are not in a conference. This is actually CIU's third intercollegiate year for all of sports. So, very young team, but uh, with five wins on the season so far and five pretty Im impressive wins. Um, again, 5-3-2. They've had three double overtime games, and they've won one of them and tied the other two. So, um a lot of late games, a lot of long games, and a lot of close games for the CIU Rams. Um, the CIU Rams and North Greenville overall record for the two, and I'll continue that after our national anthem. And we are back after the national anthem. Um, again, what I was saying before the, the brief pause, um, the overall record between the two schools is uh, actually 0-0-2. Zero, zero They've only played two times, um, again, because CIU is so young in, in athletics. But first time it was a 0-0 zero, zero draw. And the next time they played, it was a 2-2 two, two draw in double overtime down in Columbia. So two close teams, two very... Very strong teams, um, and uh, Trace is going to run through the, the starting lineup tonight for the North Greenville Crusaders. Okay, for the Crusaders, we have starting off number four, junior Shamari Bridgewater. Number five, who will get his first start of the night after coming off an injury, number five, Victor Lobby. Number six, sophomore Johnny Lynn. We'll have number 10, junior Thales Wazerick. Number 12, freshman Chris Inman. Number 15, junior <coughs> Doug Cordy. 
number 19 midfielder junior, Era Zadorian. We have number 21, he's a senior, Jonathan Arango. Number 23 is our goalkeeper. He's a sophomore, DJ Baker. And number 29, midfielder, sophomore, Joel Johnson. And, and capping it off, we have number 36, sophomore, Lucas Gravely. And for your Columbia International Rams, the starting lineup for goalkeeper, number one, Stephen Repelog. Number two, Braden Elmer. Number five, David Druin. Number seven, Augustine Acro Ruiz. Number nine, Tyler Smith. Number 10, Daniel Mille. Number 14, Nathan Green. Number 15, Stanford Carnaway. Number 21, Damian Patterson. Number 22, Paul Grande Carpio. And number 23, Makizem Yakovinko. So we are seconds away from kickoff here at Pepsi Stadium and uh, looking to be a very physical, close matchup. Uh, North Greenville looking for their first win. And CIU looking to uh, capitalize on the matchup. Should be exciting, Luke. All right, North Greenville has the ball. Defender kicks to the middle of the field. He plays it. Kicked at number five, Lynn. Lynn to number six. Oh, that's Lynn. Lobby was number five. Stolen by CIU. CIU has the ball. Pass to number 23. That is Jakin Vinko. And number 21 chases it down. That is Patterson. Patterson with the throw in. Looking for a man, and referee says too far down the line. Backs him up a little closer to the midfield line. Again, Damian Patterson with the throw in. Brings it back towards the goalkeeper. Settles it, passes it to number nine. Smith, Smith dribbles, passes it to 14. Green, Green looks middle. Connects with Jakin Vinko. Intercepted by North Greenville. Number five, Lobby has the ball. Kicks it back to his defender in the middle of the field. He plays it to number 15. 15 places up the field, but it was off the back foot of Lynn. Back to number six, Lobby. Dribbles it inside the 18, plays it back. Looks for a player. Number 19 kicks it back to the far side and offsides North sides. Greenville. Good passing, though, there by uh, early for North Greenville. So you would think keeping that the pressure. You would think that Lobby would wanted to take it inside and go one on one since so a one on one guy, but but he chose otherwise. The goalkeeper Stephen Repelog dribbles it out to the right. He's crossed back to number nine, Tyler Smith. Smith boots it downfield. Number two chasing it down. Not going to get there in time. Stopped by Rango. Five settles it, loses it. Number five, Lobby has the ball, kicks it to Lynn. Lynn back to his defender. He loses it. That's a Rango. Rango back to his teammate on the near sideline. They're playing. They're playing keep away from CIU right now. He boots it up toward the middle of the field. Oh, a little trickery there. Shakes off a defender. Looks for a Rango. A Rango back to his defender. Number 16, 36, Gravely. Defender plays it far up, all the way almost to the. CIU 18. Green will settle it, brings it up the field, looks middle, looks right, looks left, brings it back to his right, passes it to number 15, Carnaway. Carnaway to number 9, back to 7, back to 9, back to Carnaway. Carnaway back to Melee. No, Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith into Carnaway. Back to Tyler Smith. Smith. And it looks like CIU is uh, keeping possession here and trying to set something up. Looks like both teams are looking for their openings. And the deep ball just runs out of bounds. The NGU throw in on the far sideline. He throws it deep. Oh, header by CIU jumped right A little over. too aggressive. A little too aggressive there. Be a free kick for North Greenville. Looking for a free kick on the far. He's playing keep away. Kicks it back to the goalkeeper, DJ Baker. Back to Gravely. Gravely plays it forward. Plays on the near sideline. Back to Lot let Lynn. Lynn plays it up. Shakes his defender. Back to number 15. 15 plays it to the far sideline. Looks like it's going to be a little tough header. Oh, he saved it. It's like North Green was going to play a little antsy with the ball early. Number five to Lobby. 
Back to the far sideline, back in. Ball's in the middle of the field. Plays it back to number 19. Plays it forward. He looks like he's going to be offsides. Second one early already in this game. Two offsides, Benji. CIU takes no time getting the ball in. Pass to Yakinvinko. Yakinvinko moves the middle of the field and free kick given. Right on the Crusader. Smith comes up, takes free kick, passes to number 14, Green. Green settles, pass to number 10, that is Mele. Mele brings it back to 15. Carnaway. Carnaway looking middle, passes right. Settles it. And through ball not does not make it through. North Greenville plays it back to their goalkeeper, Baker. Baker looks for a teammate. Playing it safe. Sends it forward to the near sideline. Header by number 19, Zadorian. <coughs> Ball's on the near sideline. Out of bounds. North Greenville throw in. Good pressure here by both teams. Very good pressure. Arango look for a player. He plays it back to uh, his defender. Plays it up the near sideline. Defended by CIU. North Greenville throw in once again. That was Augustine Acro Ruiz with the uh, kick out of bounds. Arango with another throw in. Plays it close. Back to the defender. Plays it forward to Lynn. It's going to go out of bounds. CIU ball. Smith has a throw in. Nope. Tosses it to his teammate. Throw in comes in from number 14. Header. Beautiful header. Yakovinko, one on one. Gets past his man. Gets into the box. And it is going to be a corner. The first corner of the game for Columbia International. Well defended by, so. by our North Greenville defense. Yakovinko with great speed to get around that corner. Just not enough to completely get to a position to shoot. So corner, first corner of the game coming in. Uh, Mille, left-footed. And the ball is in the air. And shot. Oh, my a goodness. High. A little high. And CIU Rams calling for a tip, but it is not touched and sails over the crossbar. DJ Baker will set it up for the first goal kick of the game. He drops back. Kicks his Gatorade bottle out the way. Sends it toward the middle of the field. Beautiful kick. Good clearance. Across the 50. I mean the midfield. 14 with the header. Green. Arango chases it down. Little Elmer. Push. No call. No call. Plays to the middle of the field to Weiserick. Weiserick to Joel Johnson. Back to Weiserick. And he's tripped. Be a foul on the play. Free kick close to the 18. We'll see what happens here for North Greenville. He might take a shot close. CIU, uh, it'll be interesting to see if they set up a wall. Looks like it may be a one-man wall. And the referee's going to back him up, and it'll be a two-man wall. Looks like Weiserick so. will take the free kick. Oh, tries to play it in. Ball's inside the 18. Green clears it with the header. Lynn has the ball, plays it to number 21, Arango. Arango plays it back to Lynn, stolen by CIU, out of bounds. North Greenville throw in. Elmer couldn't keep it in bounds. The freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia. Plays it. That's a far throw. Weiserick. Weiserick, Good number touch. 19, back to the far sideline. Back to the middle of the field to Lobby. Lobby inside. Ball's inside the 18. Stolen by CIU. Yakovenko brings it down with his right foot and passes it out. Bring it on the far side sideline. Yakovenko. Back to number seven. That is Akru Ruiz. Back to Yakovenko and loses possession. Stolen by North Greenville. Five steals right. it back. That is Druin and lost Doug possession. Doug Cordy gets back possession. Looks like a little push. Definitely it's a scuffle. We'll see if the referee has any card. No card, just a physical matchup. It's going to be another free kick for North Greenville. Also, there is a uh, number 13 for CIU. Got two yellow cards in the last match, and he was their leading goal scorer. So that is a huge Loss for the Rams tonight. We'll see how they recover and who steps up to the plate for CIU scoring. But it looks like we're going to have Weiserick nice. inside the circle for the free kick. 
He serves it in. Good Another header. by CIU. Carnaway with the header. Yakovenko fighting for it. That is out of bounds and North Greenville ball. North Greenville looks for a quick throw in. They play it safe to Gravely. No, that's not Gravely. Now the ball's with Gravely. Gravely kicks it back to the far sideline. He plays it in. Doug Cordy fights for the ball, loses possession. Mele fouled, has a free kick. Is he going to take it? He is not going to take it, but he is. Passes it back to number nine. Nine to two. Elmer with the ball. Stolen Elmer. by Lynn. And that is CIU ball, Rams ball. And he moves him back. So that is a Green with the throw in. Looking. Ball enters the playing field. Five with a header, two with a touch. Back to, back to North Greenville. Looks for a player, plays it back. That's Lobby. Yakin Venko with the steal. Passes back to Ake Ruiz. Ruiz, the number five, David Drew in and does not maintain possession. So Dorian to Lynn. To Lynn now has the ball. Lynn does a little trickery, looks for his player. Back to Doug Cordy. Cordy plays it to the far sideline. North Greenville defender serves it up to Weiserick. Oh, little touch there. CIU settles it. Yakin Vinko back to Akre Ruiz. Ruiz up to number 22. That is Grande Carpio. Ball enters the 18 into the box and offsides. Offsides on CIU. That's the third of the game, first for CIU. Real quick, so what does an NGU have to do to win this game? Well, I think they just have to play both halves. You know, I think the second half's really going to, if it comes down to be a close game, the second half is where they've been struggling. So we'll see if they can maintain aggressiveness throughout the whole game. DJ Baker plays it forward. Header won by Doug Cordy. Lynn now has the ball. Dribbles it up. Does a little trickery. Stolen by CIU. Doug Cordy gets back possession. Lobby kicks it to the far sideline to to his teammate. Lobby retains possession. That is Carnaway back to the goalie. Repelog with the pass to number nine, Tyler Smith. Elmer passes it back to Green. Green to Mele. Ak Ruiz to his teammate. Back. CIU likes going back and forth. They they set up and then they attack. And then they set up and they attack. So nothing there with the kick coming from number ten, Mile. DJ Baker rolls it to Shamari Britt Bridewater. Doug Cordy gets the ball. Lobby. Lobby plays it forward. Beautiful pass. Inside the eighteen. Joel Johnson's gonna have a shot, but CIU kicks it out. Smith clears it out of the box, and there's a boot. Yakin Venko not going to get there in time. And a handball there by Grande Carpipo. Also, we'll see how Lobby plays. They say Lobby's a stout player, and this will be his first game back from injury. He's a freshman, so we'll see how he plays in his first collegiate matchup. It, it couldn't be a more perfect night for soccer. Oh, it's beautiful. I beautiful get out here in Tigerville. Ball comes in, headed by number nine. Lobby Back. plays it in. Good clearance. Jakim Venko, not in time. Weiserick has possession. Looks for a player. It's real patient. Back to Shamari. Lobby to Cordy. Cordy plays it forward. Has a defender on his tail. Looks like they were trying to give uh, NG a little advantage there, the referee. Re whistled to his mouth but did not blow it and then blew it once it got away from him. So it uh, is a free kick for the Crusaders, and we have 31 minutes remaining in the half. So no score here yet in this uh, very physical pressuring matchup. Weiserick well, plays it to Gravely. Gravely plays it in. DeCordy goes up in the air, saved by CIU goalkeeper. 
Repelog passes out to Elmer. Elmer brings it up the sidelines to Drew in. Drew in back to the middle. Green loses possession. Bradwater has it to Lobby to Cordy. Cordy brings it to the middle of the field. Back to Lobby. Lobby loses possession. He gains back possession very fast. <coughs> Lynn has the ball, plays it to the middle of the field, back to Lobby. Stolen by Elmer. Elmer to number 10. Mile, Mile to Ak Ruiz. Ruiz passes, intercepted. Arango has the ball, back to Lynn. Lynn plays it forward to Wazerick, off the goal, off the ref. Plays it forward to Arango. Arango brings it on the side. He's going to cross it. And a little too much for his teammate on the far sideline. Plays it back to Bridewater. Bridewater plays it in and saved. Oh, he bobbles it. Repilog with the, bo with the <laughs> bobble and uh, settles it, rolls it out to the far sideline. And CIU is once again going to take their sweet time and uh, pass it around the uh, their side of the um, midfield. So, again, setting up, getting the men in the right position, and uh, passing it through the defenders. And, uh, and that's ball just is coaching across. ability. That that's is. coaching ability. Ball is in. 22 is not able to get there in time. That is Grande Carpio. When you see a team that's a discipline and is very patient with the ball, that's that's strictly coaching right there and the will to listen from the players. Yeah, it would be hard to, to not be aggressive, and, and it's impressive they can settle down and, and pass it. Arango plays it forward to Lynn. Lynn has the ball. Back to Cordy. Oh, he has Back him. to Cordy. Doug Cordy's bringing it up. Joel Johnson has the ball. Good patience. Back to Lynn. Lynn plays it forward. Doug Cordy has the ball. Looks like he's going to do a little cross here. Oh, fakes it. Lynn, Lynn fights to get free. A push inside the, into the box. They're looking for a call. The North Greenville bench yells for a call for a penalty kick, but does not receive one. Looks like it's going to be CIU goal kick. And good, a good passing again, once again. NGU. Give and go looks to be their uh, speed for right now. Great handles by uh, Lynn. So CIU has maintained position here. Possession and uh, passes it in the backfield. And a cross comes in. No one there to receive it. But a header. And that is Yakovinko has the ball. Okay, into the box, and NGU has it back. North Greenville plays it forward to Lynn. They look to counterattack here. Lynn looks for an opening. He backs away, kicks it back to the middle of the field. Number 19 has the ball. We'd like to make a correction. Doug, it'll be Doug Cordy's first game of the year. As we he's were, coming back from what, injury? Injury. Injury. It'll be his first game of the season. We were reported wrong. So CIU taking their time. Ball in. No one to get it. So it looks like as if they want to settle around in the backfield and then and almost like a long ball. And uh, so like far, kickball. yeah, so far no one's connected. So, number 19 has the ball, plays it to the sideline to Lynn. Lynn plays it back a little give and go here. It's going to be stolen a by a little CIU. too much. Back to Repilog. Repilog settles it, passes it, 
15 to Yakovinko. Yakovinko, quick. He is a quick one. Passes it far sideline. That is Carpe. Grande Carpio. Yakovinko back to number 10. And offside. So two and two so far for offsides. NGU and the Rams of CIU with two offsides each way. Shamari plays it forward, gets it back. Back to his goalkeeper, Baker. With the looks of it so far, it looks like we won't have a 0-0 zero -zero game. I don't think we will. There is uh, pressure coming from both ends of the field. Doug Cordy plays it forward. Far sideline plays it in, and it's kicked out by CAU's goalkeeper. Retained by North Greenville. CIU back to the goalkeeper, Rebelog. Rebelog settles it, brings it back out to number nine. That is Smith. Smith to seven. Arc Ruiz. Ruiz to Grande Carpio. Back to Ruiz. Ruiz passes it up. They have numbers. Five uh, passes going to make it all the way across the field. Back to number 10. Back to Arca Ruiz and intercepted from behind. North Greenville advances the ball to the middle of the field to Lobby. Lobby plays it forward. Arango's on the far side, on the near sideline. Brings it in. Crosses it. Oh, oh my barely goodness. Missed. I believe oh, that's. Oh, my goodness. And he keeps it in bounds. He's going to play it back in again. Oh, CIU defense. Header by it. Elmer. 19 plays it to the far sideline. Back to Bradwater. Bradwater has possession. Brings it forward. Brings it all the way into the 18. Takes a shot off the goal post. Far, far goal post. Yeah, once again, we'd make, the, like, make that correction. It'll be Doug Cordy's first start of the night. And number 15 instead of number five, Victor Lobby. We have substitute coming in for the CIU Rams. That is number eight, Ethan Chandler in for number nine, Tyler Smith. So again, Ethan Chandler in for Tyler Smith. Substitute in the 24th minute. So CIU once again doing what they do best and accurate passing in the backfield to set something up. So here we go. They're taking their time. Jakim Vinko, nope, number 10. That's Mile. Here, here comes the pressure. Confident with the ball, these Rams are. 14, back. No rush, they're in no hurry. They realize they have 90 minutes to play this game. North Greenville defense wins the ball. Brings it up. Plays it across the field to Lynn. Lynn, Lynn brings it back, shakes off a defender, plays it back to Gravely. Gravely plays it back over to Bradwater in the middle of the field. Up front to number 19. The NGU shakes off the defender, plays it all the way across the field to Lynn. Lynn's open, looks to shake his man up, plays it to the right side, tries to stop, and he gets back, he crosses it in. It's like we're going to have a shot here. Oh, and stop. my Saved goodness. By the CIU goalkeeper. Another good try by NGU, but Repilog is there to save it. Rolls it out. Could be a counterattack, and I don't believe. Nope. They are just going to do what they do best, and that is settling it, settling it down and uh, changing the pace of the game to how they like it. So, again, very slow pace. Kind of like. Just lulling a boxer to sleep, you know, just getting in a good rhythm. Looking for its opportunity to strike. And they will get one. If they I believe so, if too. they remain with their game plan, they will get a shot. So, again, ball in the backfield. 21 minutes remaining in half. There's Green with the ball to the sub. Arango plays it forward. Lobby has possession. 
stolen by CIU. Arango is in a chase for the ball. Carnawi back to his fellow defender into the substitute that is Chandler. North Greenville remains possession, but it looks like the CIU defender is going to kick it out of bounds. North Greenville throw in. So, again, 20 minutes remaining. He throws it in. No one there. Ball is up. And uh, signal is for North Greenville. North Greenville. Going to be a substitution for CIU. We have number 18. CJ Jones is in for number two. Uh, Braden Elmer. So again, CJ Jones, number 18, in for number two, Braden Elmer. So that is their second sub of the game. It's going to be a foul on Bridewater. We've got a CIU ram down. Did you get a number? I didn't see a number. I did not see a number. I just know the foul was on Bridewater. So the man is down. It looks like that is Grande Carpio, and it is. So Paul Grande Carpio from Ecuador. Looks like he is all right. Jogs off to the far sideline. Defenders bring it across the midfield line. And Grande Carpio settles it. Brings it mid and passes it back. Over. Good touch pass to number 14, Green. Green brings it in the box. And NGU goalkeeper there to grab it for the goal kick. Baker had 12 saves in his last game. See how many he gets this, this game. 36 Gravely has the ball. Looks for an opening. Plays it to the near sideline to Arango. And looks like Lynn's not going to catch it. It's going to be CIU throw in. Throw in coming from Green. Green looking downfield. Brings it back. Header. And again, CIU brings it backwards. 15, brings it close to the midfield line. Passes to number 8. 8 back to number 9. That is Smith. Smith to Green. Green looking middle. Ako Ruiz back to Smith. Smith settles it. Passes it up to Chandler. Chandler looking far side of the field. Passes it to Yakinvenko. Back to Chandler. Again, back to number nine, Smith. One thing you have to do with a patient team like CIU for North Greenville, you have to get into the, the Ram passing lanes, not charge after the person with the ball, but get into their passing lanes because they're going to play it safe and they'll keep it away from you all night long and tire you. And that's what CIU is looking for. Ball is up and CIU number 18, C.J. Jones, not able to chase it down. But I agree with you. I, I agree the passing lanes. You have to cut it off because that is all they're doing right now. Just like that, number eight passes back to number 14, 14 to nine, Smith. Smith to Chandler. Chandler to Jones. And a header by NGU. Intercepted by Jakin Vinko. Looks like it's f five on one. And uh-oh. NGU ball, no call there. So I heard a whistle. And it's uh, just NGU's ball. So DJ Baker will come out for the free kick just outside the box. Who do you think will Who do you think will strike first? Uh, Joel Johnson has opportunities. Lynn's doing very well with the ball for North Greenville. Looks like uh, North Greenville has more has had more opportunities than CIU, but that doesn't mean CIU. It only takes one to score. It's, it is. That's true. It only takes one. But I would agree, I, if, if I had to vote right now, I'd say NGU would, would strike first, which would be big for them. It would be their third goal of the season, so that would be huge. North Greenville is also looking for their first win of the season. So CIU maintains possession. Again, CIU a part of the NCCAA and not a part of a conference. This is their third year as an intercollegiate program. So a little bit of pressure here coming from CIU and Ark Ruiz back to number eight, Chandler. 
and he just passes it to the goalkeeper. So, again, looking like they're settle, 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 long ball. So, I believe they'll connect on one of those uh, shortly. So, Header one by North Greenville. Lynn looks for the ball after the second bounce. Foul on the play. Looks like it's going to be a free kick for North Greenville. Number 14 for CIU fouls Lynn. As Nathan Green from Greer, South Carolina, just down the road. Trying to strike a win on his hometown team. Weiserick on the free kick. Or maybe Lobby. No, it's going to be Weiserick. Lobby goes out to the near sideline, and he plays it in. Beautiful ball. Ooh, oh, just good defending Smart. header. But Lynn heads it back. Weiserick regains possession. Oh, he lost it. CIU ball. Another substitution. This is number 12, Alex Hackett, coming in for number 22, Paul Grande Carpio. North Greenville has yet to make a substitution. So that is Alex Hackett, a sophomore from Jefferson City, Tennessee. Enters the game with 14 minutes remaining in the, in the first half. So immediately he gets uh, time with the ball. And the ball is out on him. It will be North Greenville's throw in far side of the field. He plays it back to Bridewater. Bridewater plays it back to the middle of the field to Gravely. Gravely to Arango. Arango plays it forward to Doug. Gravely plays it forward. Going to lose it here. CIU ball. Carnaby up to Ruiz. Ruiz down on the play. And a tough tackle there by Carnaby. We have a North Greenville Crusader down. I can't see a number. Looks like it may be Doug Cordy. Uh, that's, that was going to be my guess, which would be extremely unfortunate from him, for him. This being his first game back, am I Once correct? Once again, this is Doug Cordy's first game back. So North Greenville will come over and grab some water. Looks like CIU will do the same as we take a uh, – a brief pause in the action. So, again, keys to success for North Greenville. Uh, it would definitely be how they play in the second half. They've played basically maintain possession. They've definitely had the most shots in the game. We'll see if they can continue their success at uh, having shots in the second half. But they have to capitalize. They have to capitalize in order to win the game. They do. Can't win the game by not scoring. So, we're going to resume here at Pepsi Stadium, but – Cordy I believe Cordy. So hopefully he'll will, he will be all right. Let's look for a substitute here. Looks like he is walking off on his own strength, which is good to see. And we will continue on with the action here. I believe number 30, Jeff Selig, comes into the game for Cordy. Yes, Je Jeff Selig, the junior. So... North Greenville ball, am I correct? North Greenville throw in, correct. Throw in. No, nope, free, kick. The free kick. kick in the middle of the field. Right below the logo. There's 13 minutes remaining in the first half. Bridewater plays it to his teammate. Brings it back, back to Bridewater. Bridewater to Gravely. Gravely scans the field, plays it in. Lobby to lobby kicks it to the CIU defender. Green clears it. Bridewater regains possession. Uh-oh. Yakin Vinko. Ten. That is Mele. Back to Yakin Vinko. And he loses possession. Rango has possession to Joel Johnson. Kicked out of bounds by CJ Jones. So CJ Jones knocks it out of bounds. And a substitution for North Greenville. That is number 13 in. That's Luke Jones entering the game. For North, Greenville, For North uh, Greenville, Lynn will come out. Lynn, who's had a great performance the first half. 
Jakin Venko fights for the ball. Selig to Lobby. Lobby fights for it. Back to Selig. North Greenville has the ball. Joel Johnson gives it back, loses it. And CIU settles it. That is number eight Chandler back to his Num teammate. Number 13 came into the game for North Greenville. Luke Jones. We have pressure here. Is he able to keep it? And he is not. That was number 12, Alex Hackett. So, again, short passing leading to a long ball and, and again, no connection. So, NG ball. Siegelick plays it to the sub. Jones. Clarence Carnaby. And no Ram is able to chase it down. So, I hear a whistle. Foul on the Rams. Gravely has the ball. Scans the field. Plays it forward. Jakin Vinko with the tackle. Not able to get it. Sidorian shakes out the defender to Selig. Selig plays it back to Lobby. Lobby to Arango. Plays it forward. Jones has the ball. Scans the field. Back to Gravely. Ball's on the near sideline. Oh, beautiful wow. go to Lobby. Lobby plays it back. Weiserick takes a shot and saved by the CIU goalkeeper. Looked like it was deflected there off of a CIU defender and right. an easy save for Steven Repelog. Repelog rolls it out to the right. Settled by NGU defender. Again, nothing unfamiliar here with the passing in the backfield. So we will see if they're able to connect here in the last 10 minutes of the first half. So that is Green. Green with the ball. Back to Jones. Jones to Chandler. And Chandler hits it out of bounds on the near sidelines. We'll see how North Greenville adjust without Lynn. Lynn's probably been their primary ball handler here on the near sideline. We'll see how the sub Jones does in place of Lynn. It's a throw in coming for NGU. Nathan Green with the defensive header. Have just under 10 minutes left in the game. Number nine. Tyler Smith, Repelog, passes it. Back to Chandler. Chandler settles it, looks far sideline, near sideline, intercepted. Jones, Jones has the ball. He looks. He's going to cross it over. Great defense. Clearance by the Rams. Ark Ruiz, back to number 12. That is Alex Hackett, and he is not able to maintain possession. So NGU ball. Header, CIU. And Jakin Vinko tripped up. Is there a foul? There is. So a free kick. And hopefully he is all right. But a free kick coming here in the ninth minute. Well, nine minutes remaining in the uh, first half. So we'll see if they're able to get this into the box and, and get a, a header. I think this is CIU's closest free kick. I would agree with that. So here we go. Hand in the air. Referee's ready. Ball is in to the box. Header, Yakovenko, wrong direction. And NGU tries to clear it. 15 with a shot, and the ball goes over the crossbar. That was number 15, Stanford Carnaway, with a powerful kick that sailed over the crossbar. So a missed clearance by NGU almost led Brad to a goal. Water, number four, completely woofed on the ball, and it gave an opportunity for CIU, and they barely missed a shot. We have a substitution for CIU. That is number six, Rufus Afropong. I've been waiting to say that name. He is in for number seven, Augustine Arca Ruiz. So Afropong into the game. Lobby has possession. Sends it. Yakin Vinko, oh, one on one. He has a goal. Yakin Vinko, number 23. So CIU strikes first. Not as we predicted. And again, just it looked like a miscue. It was a miscue by the uh, defender. I, I forgot. I didn't see who it was. I believe it was uh, number nine, Zadorian, 
completely did not see the CIU striker, and he took over and capitalized on his opportunity. So that, again, was number 23, Makizem Yakinvenko, the freshman out of Ukraine. So strikes first, Yakinvenko with an easy one-on-one -on -one goal for CIU. So 1-0 with 7.50 remaining in the first half. Afropong, header, not able to keep possession. And the ball is cleared by NGU. Carnaway is going to let it roll out of bounds. So it'll be a throw in here for CIU. We'll see how North Greenville reacts after getting scored on late here in the first half. It's a throw in coming for CIU. And there is Hackett. It's like North Greenville. Oh. Good, good steal there by number 15, Carnaway. Jakim Vinko with the ball. He is quick. Quick with the ball. Oh, wow. Not able to chase it down, but good speed there coming from a CIU striker. Lobby plays it. Slide tackle. Arango has the ball, plays it to Jones. There's a trip up there. No call on the foul. No foul on the call. And it looks like there's going to be a free kick there for NGU. And there is a, another Crusader down. I cannot see a number. Calling for medical attention. That's number five, Lobby. So, again, hopefully he is all right. That's the third Crusader down tonight. One has had to come off the field. The other two have been okay. So Doug Cordy's still over here sitting on the athletic trainer four-wheeler. So he is seeking medical attention, and we will take a brief moment. Uh, again, so the goal coming for CIU in the eighth minute, well, the eighth minute remaining in the half, um, it's backwards. So uh, striking late in the first half. And it in, in, looks like NGU is going to have to score their first goal in the second half. To, that, that's not to get Lobby. An equalizer. That's not Lobby that's down. That's number 21, Arango. Arango's down. But he gets up, limps off the field. And Arango's that defender that plays on the sideline and plays in for the crossover. So he plays both sides of the field. So he's very much a key player. Weiserick's going to have the free kick. And they are going to get a substitute. That's number, number 39. 39 Gravely comes back into the game. No, 39. 39 Crosses Scott in. Dubek. Header. And looks like that is going to go out on referee, says goal kick. So header out on NGU. So that'll be Steven Repilog with the goal kick. Six minutes remaining in the half. Green passes back to number nine, Smith. Smith over to number 15, Carnaway. Carnaway pass not connected with Yakinvenko. Weisrick has possession. Stolen by CIU. Stolen back by NGU. 39 has the ball. Seelig plays it forward to Lobby. North Greenville plays it forward. Joel Johnson has the ball. Kicks it. Deflected off the CIU defender and saved by the CIU goalkeeper. Repelon gathers it. Left side of the box. And CIU will take their time. Especially up 1-0. Lobby plays it, plays it to Jones. No handball there by Jones. Jones is ceiling, but it's going to roll out of bounds. And that is throw in for number 14, Green. Looked like it made a little elbow contact there with the ball, and referee did not call it. So Green with the throw in down the sideline. And 18 settles it. Jones looks inward. And not he, – oh, he is able to connect with number eight. That is Chandler. Chandler brings it back to Smith. Smith back to Repilog, who is out of the box, passes it up, and CIU is, again, sticking with their bread and butter. Short, 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 long ball. So they are 
able to connect here with number 18, Jones. Jones, a little too hard of a touch, but he is able to get to it inside the box, crosses it in, and that is going to go out of bounds off an NGU Crusader. So that will be a corner. I believe that is the second corner of the game from the same corner. And uh, so we'll see what CIU, the Rams, are able to do here with four minutes remaining in the first half. So, again, the lefty, number 10, Mille, will bring it in. We have a substitution here. That is number 19, Zach Wolfenden, in for number 12. I believe that is Alex Hackett. So, the ball is in and not able to be headed. And NGU has the ball. Chandler with the clearance. Yakovenko with the ball. Loses it. CIU gains it back and gives it right back to N NGU. Gravely has the ball. Plays it to Selig. Selig brings it up. Plays it forward a little too hard. Smith to Yakovenko. Yakovenko, good move. Passes over. Back to Yakovenko, who has the only game here tonight. I mean, only goal here tonight. So he is fouled. And another free kick. So he will get up slowly, but he is all right. A lot and of physical play, but a little whistle called by the ref. Yeah, he's letting them play, that's for sure. So no cards. And just a, a few... A few called penalties, so um, letting them play for sure. So hand is up, ball is in, into the crow. Oh my goodness, what a pass! And it is, they are not able to connect there. Well defended by Seelig. Into the box, good location, back far post. So right where you want the ball, but not able to connect. So CIU will regroup and head back down to their side of the field. Two minutes remaining in the half. A little bit of uh, too much of a push there. Oh, and they're quick. Quick as CIU. And they give it right back. Oh, Broadwater off. kicks it off the head of the CIU off the striker. the head of Afropong. Rufus Afropong. Love Quick that name. For North Greenville. Little over, little over a minute left. Header won by Chandler. Chandler to Jones, Jones to Afropong. Afropong moves left side, crosses in, and goalkeeper able to get to it. Beautiful so, save by Baker. Good hands. Baker quickly throws it out. Oh. Looks like his Another left Crusader leg. Another down. Number 10, Weiserick. He gets up fast. That could have been a terrible injury, but he is able to walk that one off. So good for him. Weiser gets the ball back. Good Does move. a little trickery, brings it in. Mm. Jones. Jones plays it out to Selig. Selig plays it back right into a CIU defender, but regains possession. One minute remaining. One minute remaining. Jones has the ball, plays it out. To Zadorian. Zadorian takes one too many touches. Weiserick has the ball. He's going to take a shot right off a defender of CIU and saved by the CIU goalkeeper. Another easy save there for Steven Repelog. And uh, settles it. Passes out to the left side. Green didn't know the ball was coming. Grabs the ball. Looking inward. Eight to Jones. Afropong with the ball. Passes it to Yaka and Vinko, oh, and they have not able numbers to settle here. it. With 20 seconds left on the clock. Plays it forward. Ball is in. Ball's in. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Off like the foot of the defender. goalkeeper. And holy cow, with 10 seconds remaining in the half. Tough break for NGU. A very good chance. Very good try. And... The clock runs out, and that is halftime. So, wow, with 10 what seconds remaining. What an exciting remaining, ending. Almost, almost connected, and that would have been huge for NGU. I'm trying to get the number on the player who had the opportunity to score. He's very frustrated. Man. 
And he is when he turns around, we'll be able to see his number. But that again, a, a physical first half. That might be uh, number 29, Joel Johnson. So uh, a, a, again, only goal of the game coming with eight minutes remaining in the first half by number 23, the freshman from Ukraine, Makazim Yakinvinko. So he is quick, and he was able to get to the ball and finish. So 1-0. And we will take a, uh, a short break here at Pepsi Stadium in Tigerville, South Carolina. And we will come back with about – Eight minutes remaining in the half with uh, some stats and possibly an interview. So we are signing off. I want to get the number of that player. I'll introduce you as a referee. I'll introduce you as a certified referee. This way toward you.
Hello? All right, so we have 26 seconds. Go ahead and get used to the mic. Uh, we'll sit. Blake Payne. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. That's awesome. And there we go. So, am I live? Am I on? Am I on? If I'm off of mute, am I on? Okay, cool. Well, we are on. So I thought we were testing, but we are live. So eight minutes remaining in the halftime break, and I am joined by a good friend of mine, Mr. Blake Payne. So he is a certified referee here of the beautiful game of soccer. So we just got a few questions about the game and about basketball and about life. So we're gonna just going to... Take a moment, moment, moment to interview Blake Payne. So, welcome it's to the show. To, it's good to be here, Mr. Edwards. Glad to, glad to have you on. So, real quick, just initial thoughts of the first half. Yeah, well, I mean, definitely a heartbreaking way to end the half. I mean, you have a break with less than 20 seconds, a golden opportunity. I mean, you got to give credit to the CIU goalkeeper. He made a great save on his back with his hand extended. Um, but what heartbreaking way to end the half. But at the same time, you got to look at the flip side of the coin, and you got to realize that even though the goal didn't fall for the North Greenville Crusaders, it, it sparked hope. You know, that, it did. that was the best look at the goal. They saw all half, and they saw it right at the end going into the second half. So you know Coach Chad Gefeller is over there, and that's part of his halftime speech is just the, the great opportunity that they saw and what that looks like in the second half to get that again. Definitely. Well, I don't know if you know or not, I uh – Found out today that NGU has not scored in the second half the entire season. Wow. So what are they going to have to do to get rid of that statistic and, and get an equalizer here in the second half? Wow. So. Well, you know, from my from my view of the first half, I think that um, I mean defense did well. I mean had a had a you know a mistake a miscue on the on the playback toward the middle of the of the field. But I think NGU has got to find a way to press forward beyond about the 20, 25 yard line. Because what's happening is we've had very few opportunities in the box. Mm -hmm. We get the ball with the defenders that are right ahead of the box and we can't really penetrate past that. So we're gonna have to find a way, whether that be um, by a through ball, whether that be by dribbling um, through good passing, chip shot, whatever. We're gonna have to find a way to penetrate that 18 to 25 yard mark so that we can get closer to get a legitimate shot on goal. Definitely, definitely. So now you have refereed soccer games is that correct i have i was a certified referee um for for a couple of years and so i um, got familiar with the game and it's a beautiful game beautiful game so it yeah. is good well good for you so based on that knowledge how the referees are letting them play a little bit i don't have much knowledge as a referee's perspective of the game of soccer but and and from my eyes it looks like they're letting them play a little bit how's the referee calling yeah. and well my philosophy is if <laughs> If he's if he's having a good halftime and he's not having to talk to any of the coaches, then <laughs> he did a good job. That's for sure. That's <laughs> but, for sure. You know, Luke, from what I saw, I think that the referee has done a good – he's called a good game so far. I mean, it's physical. The, the game of soccer is a physical game. A lot of 50-50 balls, so you're going to have that physicality piece to it. But I think he's done a good job. He's called what he's needed to call. He may miss one or two, but most refs are going to. So I think he's called what he's needed to call. I think he's maintained the game at a good, at a good physical level. And so I think as long as he continues – to call the game like he does, I think we'll get to the end of the night and be happy with, with the way he's called. So, I agree. Yep. So to switch things up real quick, I'm going to ask you uh, about a few basketball questions because you are part of the yes. men's basketball team here at North Greenville. That's correct. So this is your second year on the team, and uh, last year was uh, a little bit of a, of a disappointment here for, for the school and for the team, and we finished, or y'all finished, 14-14, and 14, mm -hmm. men's basketball team. Yeah. And uh, – Reflections on this year, and, and what are you looking forward to this year with this new team? Yeah, well, Luke, I mean, last year the season was we had a stretch of just heartbreaking games. I mean, losing by one or two points. I mean, very close games, and we worked hard, and we got to the end of the season, and it felt like it should have been a much greater season than, than 500. Mm -hmm. But looking forward to this year, we got some key, key returners. Um, we got our big man, Philip Brown, coming back. 
Um, the guy who was behind him, Jai Jinx, coming back. Uh, we got one of our vital scorers and Micah Parker returning. And then we picked up some new guards. We picked up a guy named Corvell. Um, we're expecting big things out of him from potentially the point guard position. We picked up a guy named Chris and a guy named Spencer, um, <clears throat> who we expect a lot to come out of. We got a couple other returners and Troy, Blyden. And, and so, man, we're just expecting a lot. We've, we've got some good workouts, some good practices in early. Uh, I think as a team, we've been bonding. And so... I think definitely the mentality is that we want and that we can win every single mm -hmm. game. And that's the hope. That's the expectation. We don't want to fall short of that. Um, and so we are excited. We definitely look around the conference and we look at our team and we aren't scared. We definitely know that we have the capability, the talent to, to match up each and every night. It's just going to be a matter of um, how much we want it. But I think things are looking up right now. I agree. I agree. I think it is a, uh, there's a, there's a very positive you know, outlook on the season to come, yeah. uh, uh, the upcoming season. So hopefully, oh, yeah. um, the men's basketball team will live up to those expectations because they are being set high with, with the size and with the experience oh, yeah. and and uh, especially how last year went and, and how it, it could have gone a lot better than it did with six buzzer beating yeah. losses. And Man, that's tough. So, well, uh, two minutes left in the halftime break, and I appreciate you uh, joining me. So, thank you, Mr. Luke thanks for thanks for coming on the, the show, game, and good uh, luck to the NGU Crusaders. Definitely. So, yeah. we are signing off. All thank right. you very much. And we are back live with the second half. I'll be joined again with Luke Edwards here shortly. He's getting the stats down on the sideline. We have North Greenville with the ball to Doug Cordy, who's back into the game. Cordy plays it to his uh, teammate. Back to Cordy. Cordy brings it up. Stolen by CIU. The teams has changed sides of the field this game. CIU looks to play it in. On the far sideline, going to roll out of bounds. North Greenville throw in. Whoa, what's going on? We're not getting any audio here. All right, Flip the whole thing off. I can hear myself. North Greenville plays it. Okay. Takes a shot. Oh, very close. Very close for the North Greenville striker. Did, did we have it the whole time? Okay, we thought we had some techno difficulties there, but we didn't. We're back live. Luke Edwards is now joining me. Grab the stat sheet while I was away, so we'll run through those at a, at a break. Um, CIU ball. North Greenville struck early there, Luke. They did. I saw that. They uh, had a good good shot, good try. And uh, they should. we should see them get a little more aggressive the second half. So. Yeah, you have to play like you're down. 
We do have Doug Cordy back into the game. Good ball. Ooh. Not able to get there in time. We also have Victor Tar Tarpinian into the game. He's a freshman. It'll be his first appearance for the matchup. So that is Replog, and he will clear it. And it'll come down about midfield. Header by Doug. North Greenville's playing header right now. Yakovinko not able to get there. Pass to Grande Carpio, and he is not able to chase it down. So Baker takes a dribble, takes another, and sends it off. Stolen by CIU. Yakovinko, the speed, passes it up to number 10. Saved by DJ Baker. So here we go. 42 minutes remaining in the game. Good clearance by DJ Baker. Number 14 brings it up the field. Terpinian, and he's tripped. Foul on CIU. That's Terpinian foul gets on up. Damian Patterson, the sophomore out of Columbia, South Carolina. And he's uh, getting talked to by the referee. And again, no card. So it's a warning. We are cardless so far in this game. And, North Greenville uh, has a shot here. A good angle for free kick. So we'll see what they're able to do with it. Weiserick looks, makes a decision, back pedals, and takes a shot. Header, missed. Little high for the North Greenville striker. It's going to be goal kick for CIU. Good pressure. Good pressure there, though, by uh, the Crusaders. And CIU looks to get the ball out quick. So pass in to number 15 and over to his teammate, number nine, that is Smith. So Smith brings it up. And uh, pass to number seven, that is Arc Ruiz. And uh, NG with the ball. North Greenville defender plays it to his goalie, number 23. Sends to the middle to Shamari. Shamari plays it up, plays it to the near sideline to Inman. Inman looks, does a little trickery, gets around his defender. Foul on the play. And foul is on Paul Grande Carpio. Inman will look to take a shot here on the free kick. Whistle blown, he's going to backpedal. Plays it to Cordy. Glad to see Cordy back into the game. Glad he is okay. Jakin Vinko with the pass to Ark Ruiz. Ruiz not able to chase it down. And the ball is cleared back to the NGU goalkeeper. So, Ooh, that's a dangerous pass. Taken. Back to Jakin Vinko. Jakin Vinko has the ball. Ooh, good move. Room for clearance. Room for a cross. And it goes out of bounds. Off of NGU, and that is a corner kick coming in from the far side. And that will be the third corner kick here for CIU. They have not cap capitalized on either of the first two. So, again, coming in from the number 10 lefty, Mille. Hand in the air. Ball is up. Good location. Header. And I hear a whistle. There's a whistle and a foul. Foul there by number 9. I believe Arango's back into the game as well, who was injured in the first half. I could be wrong, but I believe that's him on the far sideline playing defense. Glad to see our injured Crusaders back into the game. It's Patterson with the ball. Back to 15. 15 brings it over to Patterson. Patterson not able to get there in time. Inman has the ball. Plays it to the middle of the field to lobby. Back to Oh, they didn't know who wanted it. Far sideline, Crusaders have it. Play it back in. Back to the far sideline. Oh, we have an opportunity and a little high. Good that they were able to get a shot off, though. Um, right outside the box as number 10 pulls it for NGU. 
I think North Greenville needs to look to get the ball into the hands of Wiserick and Joel Johnson, who are their primary uh, goal attempters for the game. <laughs> goal attempters, that is for sure. For the season, not for the game, but for the season. Clearance there. By Forty wins the header. Repelog. Repelog. Um, pass number ten back across. Through ball is intercepted. Back to number ten. That is Mele. Mele brings it over to Patterson. Patterson settles it, wearing those neon yellow cleats. Passes it to offsides. offsides. He was clearly Smith offsides with there. the pass, and it was offsides. So a little too aggressive there for CIU, but again the pass, 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 long ball. So that is that is the name of the game for CIU. And so far it has worked for them. So they're up one to zero. Free kick for North Greenville. Says it to the middle of the field to Weiserick. A little push there, but no call. Back to Bradwater. Lobby has it, plays it forward. Intercepted by number eight, Chandler. Chandler passes it up to Elmer. North Greenville has possession on the far sideline. Elmer with a slide tackle. Yakovenko with a touch. Back to Yakovenko. Keeps it. Oh. And he is getting pulled. No call. Advantage played. Ball across to Grande Carpio. Carpio brings it into the box. And uh, it goes off of Car Grande Carpio. So that is a goal kick. It's interesting looking at these halftime stats. The Rams only have three shots, and Crusaders have six. So Crusaders definitely having their opportunities. They just got capitalized because they are they have doubled the Rams' opportunities to score, and they are down 1-0. So hopefully one will push through here, and, and it'll be an equalizer. Wazirik has the ball. Loses it. Regains it. It's tough to see these Crusaders numbers on the back of their jerseys. They do not have white numbering. They have light gray. So it's hard to see on the far side of the field. So bear with me, folks. Free kick for Wazirik. Kicks it to Inman. Inman sends it in. Header for CIU, well defended. The header does go backwards, so that will be a corner kick for NGU on the near side of the field. Wazirik so. will be the corner kicker. We will see if this is the potential equalizer for NGU. It is one mil with 35 minutes remaining. Plays it safe. Back to Wazrick. Wazrick sends it to the top of the 18 and misses. Be a goal kick for CIU. So that is Steven Ripelog with the goal kick as he uh, gets the ball in position and quickly kicks it to number eight, Chandler. Chandler brings it across the field. Pushing forward. To Ark Ruiz, to Yakovinko, back to Ruiz. Up, and Yakovinko is able to get it back. Passes it to Chandler, back to Yakovinko, who has the only goal of the night. Defended by Rodwater. Yakovinko with the ball, passes out to Mile. Mile is tripped up. Oh, this is going to be dangerous lobby on the foul. And there's a free kick just outside the 18. Pepsi Stadium starting to fill up here. It is. Good crowd in uh, attendance tonight. Again, a beautiful night. Not too hot, not too cold. Not a cloud in the sky. Moon is out. And it looks like uh, CIU Rams have three men around the ball. So North Greenville looks to build a wall. CIU adds on to the wall with two men, and ball is out, left foot, far left. So a little touch pass by CIU back to Mele, and he is not able to connect. Good strategy by North Greenville for building the big wall right in front of the kicker. So that's out on CIU, NGU ball just across the midfield line. 
So there are 34 minutes remaining, 33 minutes remaining in the half in the game. North Greenville plays it in. Patterson Joel Johnson chases after it. Yakovenko settles it. Mele, Yakovenko, Yakovenko, stolen. Cordy, st stolen by Cordy. We're going to bring it in. Tarpinian brings it inside to 18. Plays it in. And oh. stolen by CIU. Yakovenko looking for a counterattack. Passes it to Mele. Mele looks down the field, through ball. And no CIU Ram is able to get there in time. Gravely so. plays the sideline. NGU men's looking like NGU women's with the clearance to the sidelines. And a quick inbound pass back to Grande Carpio and offsides is the call. So that is the fourth one of the game for CIU. We had a Crusader down, but he gets back up quickly, so there'll be no, no attention given to him. He jogs back to position. Baker sends it out. Yakovenko with a header to Mele. Cordy wins the ball. Sends it to Lobby. Lobby to the far sideline. Plays it back to Bradwater. Bradwater brings it through. Plays it in. Patterson intercepts it. Arc Ruiz back to Chandler. Chandler brings it up to Grande Carpio. He is chasing it down and not able to get there. Wearing those hot pink cleats. Patterson misses the ball. It rolls to number 15. Carnaway. Over to Smith. Smith to Chandler. Chandler back to Smith. And he is going to reverse field. He is, yes, he reverse field. So Arc Ruiz down to Elmer. Elmer to Mele. Mele with the ball. And a whistle blown. So it will be a free lobby. kick. There for CIU. Lobby's taking uh, many stabs at the ball when CIU has the ball here in the second half. Might get yellow carded for that. North Greenville does have 12 yellow cards on the season. Which is a lot for the number of games they've played. Ball is in. Ball is up. Good location. Header. By number nine, Smith, and it is going to go out of bounds for a North Greenville goal kick. Uh, again, a little too far away from the goal, but a good location, backside post, and uh, does not connect once again, so score stays 1-0. Inman has the ball, sends it up the field, deflected for the CIU defender, back to Bradwater. Gravely sends it forward. Looks like it's going to roll out of bounds. It's going to be CIU throw in. That's going to be Smith with the throw in, number nine, uh, from Dutch Fork, South Carolina. So down there near Columbia. Actually, it's going to be number 10 with the throw in, Mele. Mele throws it in down the sidelines. Patterson up to Grande Carpio. Carpio goes middle of the field. Arca Ruiz looking for a through ball. Through ball is in, and that is another offsides for CIU. So that is number five of the game, and again, a lot of pressure coming from the CIU Rams, and NGU looks to quickly advance the ball. Stolen by CIU, settled by Mele. Mele, move to the left, move again to the left, maintains possession, passes up to Arca Ruiz. Ruiz back to Mele. Mele through to no one. Looked like it almost was going to go to Grande Carpio. Baker has a quick throw to Emman. Emman to Tarpinian. Wazrick has the ball, sends it forward. Beautiful pass. Tarpinian has it and loses it. Patterson with good defense, and he clears it to the near sideline, and it'll be an NGU throw in. That was a beautiful pass. NG Back heel. A, NGU has another opportunity here close. See what they do. Throws it in quickly to Lobby. Lobby plays it in. Lobby maintains possession. It's inside the 18. Ball keeps coming back to Lobby. It bounces out. Looks like number, well, it's going to be a rundown. North Greenville maintains possession. Cordy has the ball back and loses it. 
Intercepted by CIU. It's like Gravely's going to send it right back in. Lobby and CIU player go down. No foul called. CIU maintains possession. Pushing forward. Through ball to Arc Ruiz. Arc Ruiz does not get it. Elmer is there and is able to save it with a slide. Back to Arc Ruiz. He is outside the 18. Pass to Grande Carpio, and he is not able to settle it. Chandler with a shot. And easy save there for DJ Baker. So... Baker brings it all the way outside the 18. Looks like he's going to look for a throw in. Oh, it's going to be a free kick. Looks like they're asking for a substitution. North Greenville. North Greenville's going to have a sub number. Yeah, those numbers are hard to re read. I will give you that. Number 17 comes in. Freshman James Miller. James Miller comes in for Doug Cordy. Cordy in his first appearance on the so season. There is also a substitute in for CIU, and that is number 18, CJ Jones, in for Braden Elmer. So C.J. Jones re-enters the game, and looks like there's going to be a Baker another substitute forward. later. Header, good header there by Smith. Arca Ruiz able to chase it down. And CIU ball, so throw in just past the midfield line, and here comes another substitute. Number five, David Drew in. Is coming in for number seven, Augustine Arc Ruiz. So, North Greenville is going to have another substitution. The coach is making some switch ups here with uh, 26 minutes remaining in the game. Oh, uh, the sub will be made later. See how you see how you has the ball. Pass to Mele. Mele settles it. Goes left. He loves his left foot. Back to Patterson. The defender all the way down here near the box, and One he time. loses ball. So Greenville sends it upfield and loses it very quickly. It's going to roll out of bounds. North Greenville throw in. Number 19, Zadorian comes in on the sub. Bridewater has the ball. He came in for lobby. Wazrick has the ball, loses Jock it. Jakob Vinko with a good touch. Wazrick main oh, over to Mele. Mele passes it back, crosses over to Jakob Vinko, and he is offside. So that is number three of the half, number six in the game, offsides. Bradwater quick to release the ball. Jakob Vinko maintains possession. Wazrick brings it up to the middle of the field. Number 19, Zadorian has it, sends it to the far sideline. Oh, trip up there. Going to be a foul. Another free kick for North Greenville. A little over 25 minutes left in the game. Free kick coming from a predominant crossing location of the field. So this free kick will serve as a cross. And uh, looking far side post would be my guess. So we'll see how this uh, delivery is. They're going to play in and just over the goal. A little short. A good try, though. Just a little too short. So that'll be goal kick for Steven Repelog out of Sumter, South Carolina, the sophomore. And he passes it up to number eight, Chandler. Chandler dribbles forward. Passes over. Ball is up. Bradwater has the ball. Back to number 17. Chandler. It. Touch. Over. Passes it, does not pass it, just a long touch, and oh, just a little too much behind that one, and goalkeeper comes out for a sliding save. Great save by Baker. Rolls it to Bradwater. Bradwater scans the field, brings it up slowly, has a defender on his tail, sends it to the middle of the field. Sidorian kicks it to the far sideline. 
He brings it in close to the 18, does a little move. Back out. And loses it. We're going to maintain possession by Shamari. Inman has the ball, heads it in. Looks like Wiser's going to get an opportunity. Ball goes high in there. No one wanted to header, header that rocket coming down from, from Mars. That ball went sky high. And there's a CIU defender down in the box. And I cannot tell the number. Maybe number 15, Stanford Carnaby, the junior out of Liberia. I believe that's who that is. So he is uh, up on his own two feet, and yes, it is. It is number 15, Carnaby from Liberia. So he dusts himself off and adjusts his shin pads and is ready for action. So no substitutes there for CIU. And uh, throw in there for CIU. And because of the timeout for the injury, they clear it. Good respect there for CIU and NGU. Broadwater with the ball. Plays it forward to Inman. Inman back to Broadwater. Plays it to Miller. Ball's on the near sideline. Plays it in, loses the ball. Wazrick has it. Plays it forward to Zadorian. And that's just a miscue for North Greenville. Sidorian kicks it to the far sideline out of bounds. BCIU throw in. Green with the throw in into Chandler. Chandler moves to the middle of the field. Passes over to Grande Carpio. Carpio moves middle. Passes to number five. That is Drew in. Grande Carpio gets it back to Yakinvenko. Yakinvenko up to Mile. Mile to the left side of the field. He is left footed. Brings it back. That is Chandler with an intercepted pass. Arango with the interception. And Mele is able to get it back. Passes up to Drew in. Drew in back to Mele. And Stole not it. able to maintain possession. Bridewater plays it forward. Kicks it to the near sideline to Emman. Emman plays it to Miller. No, that's Wazrick. Wazrick goes forward. It's very swift with the ball. And he's pushed from behind. Easy call. Looks like we'll have another free kick on this side of the field. NG with opportunities. They just have to connect and, and get that equalizer. So, Wazrick back pedals. Serves it. Good bending ball. Head oh, on. my goodness. Just off by Shamari Bridewater. Beautiful delivery. And just did not connect with the header in the correct angle to get that ball to meet the net. So we are here with another goal kick with 21 minutes remaining in the in the half and in the game. So Steven Ripelog clears it well past midfield line and drew in with the header and a real roll out of bounds with an NG throw in. Throw in for North Greenville. Nobody touches it, but it looks like CIU defenders plays it back to their goalkeeper. Repilog brings it outside the box, kicks it. They have numbers. Push forward, it's and like not enough juice in the tank there for number 22. Mele able to maintain possession, keeps it off his chest, passes it back to number four. 15, Carnaby. Carnaby to Mele, misconnect. So it did not connect there. Shamari plays it forward right back to the CIU defender. Chandler with the ball. Decides to reverse field. Looking for a through ball pass. Connects with number 14. Missed the give and go opportunity there. Green. All the way over to Patterson. Patterson to Yakinvenko. Grande Carpio, good move. 
pass Good is save. not there. And a hand there by number 22, Grande Carpio. So. The ref's getting on to number 22. He's been targeting Wazrick pretty much the whole second half. That's at least his third warning here. Again, no cards. So, referee letting them play. Emman kicks it to Bradwater. Bradwater up to Miller. Little scuffle there. Good tackle by Yakovinko. That's Wazrick, not Brad, not Miller. 22 brings it back to the middle of the field to Drew in. And here's Mele, left footed. Of course, goes to the left side. And that is too much contact there by an NGU defender. So there will be a free kick right outside the uh, 18 and right outside the box. So we will see how this will will go down. I believe NGU is going to form another wall. And it looks like CIE will put a few men again on the ball. It's a scary moment for North Greenville. Do, do not want to go down 2-0 with this uh, short of time left. 1-0 is doable. 2-0 with 18 minutes is a tough task, especially for a team that has not scored in the second half all year. So here we go. Referee is ready. Ball is up. Off, Off the, crossbar. the crossbar. Oh, my goodness. DJ didn't even go after it. Baker didn't go after it. And it went off the crossbar. And that was a quick kick by number 22. Going to have a counter here. So pushing the back. The North Greenville striker gets pushed down. No call. No call. The fans are very angry. Header there by Druin. Emmon has possession. Sends it forward to Wazerick. There's a little push on Wazerick. A little push in the back. So Yakomenko is not able to head it, but he does get the call. So it'll be a free kick. CIU. And that was. That man. push over there on the far sideline, that looked like that'd be a call and another opportunity for North Greenville, but the ref swallows his whistle there. And the crossbar, the That's hero so far for NGU. The crossbar. My goodness. Good try there by number, again, that was 22, Paul Grande Carpio. So free kick coming, sliding free kick, and a header. Shamari wins the second Jacques header. Vinko, the only goal of the game, looking right side of the field. Moves towards the goal line, and that's out on NGU. So a corner will come in, and will it be number 10 again to take it? Mele, he's jogging towards the ball, and I believe he will. And for your Crusaders, number 30, Jeffrey Seelig. Number 30, Jeffrey Seelig comes in the game. And for the Rams, number, 12, number 12, Alex Hackett is in the game for number 22. The man that just shot the free kick. Grande Carpio, so. Looks like Miller will come out. Number 35 will enter the game, too, for the Crusaders. David Bickera, that'll be his first appearance in the game tonight. Bechera. Bechera. So here comes the corner. Number 17 will come out, James Miller. Corner is in. Ball is up. Oh, my oh. goodness. Header there by Jakin Vinko, just right of the goalpost. And they are claiming that it was touched again. So that is another corner here for the CIU Rams. So here we go. Left footer, Mele. And uh, a little break in the action. Referee is walking over to tell a bystander. To, I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened there, but referee blows his whistle. What is the call? And I'm confused as to exactly what's happening, but he blows the whistle. Hand and is the in the air. The, the corner is in, and it goes over the goal. So a goal kick here for NGU, and they escape two corners back to back. So. Fate is on their side so far. DJ Baker drops back and fires it off. Well past midfield. Header in. CIU's had the possession for most of the game, but Gravely runs it down, kicks it to the sideline. And I would have to say NGU is lucky. 
to not be down 3-0 here. There's been two or three CIUs goals. CIU has its opportunities, opportunities as well, especially on many corner kicks. Yes. So, again, just 1-0. And uh, NGU right, is, right in this thing. So, CIU has the ball far side of the field. And uh, Yakovenko pulls it back, loses it, gains it back. That is Smith with the touch over to Chandler. Chandler kicks it. Is it a little too hard? Jones is able to chase it down but kicks it out of bounds. No, it's cleared by NGU. It's a throw in there by Jones. Quick into Mele. Mele left-footed. This is a good side of, for him to cross. And it is slid tackled out of bounds by an NGU defender. So, again, a throw in here by number 18, Jones. Looks like Doug Cordy's set to come back into the game the next substitution period. So Jones with throw-in, gathers the ball, passes it to number five, Druin. Druin moves left. Ball is up. No one there. Cleared by the North Greenville defender. NGU has it. North Greenville plays it forward. Good header. Good defensive header. Yakovinko settles it back to Mele. Mele pushes forward. Through ball. Beautiful through ball. In. And the shot is on. And it is far right. The left-footed kick by number 18, C.J. Jones, goes right past the goal on the right side. So another close that call. A, that was a missed opportunity for C.I.E. Another he close was, call. He was wide open for the score. He was. So, again, NGU escapes. So... 13 minutes remaining in the entire game. Doug Cordy comes in for uh, Inman, number 12. Another missed opportunity by the Rams. So here we go. Wazrick fights for the ball, but loses it to the CIU goalkeeper, sends it to the near sideline. Dangerous pass, dangerous touch, but CIU is able to settle it. Good heel to Yakovinko. Yakovinko looks forward. Drew in, didn't see the ball coming, and is not able to chase it down in time. Gravely plays it to the goalkeeper, oh back goodness. to Gravely. Gravely sends it down to a CIU player. Good touch over to Patterson from Chandler. Chandler asking for it, does not receive it. Yakovinko does and passes over to Mele. Mele left foot Whoa. and is up, and that is a shot on goal from way outside. Uh, way Whoa. downtown, and a good one-handed save there by DJ Baker. But another corner coming in. And wow. That sure would have sucked there out of North Greenville if that would have went in for that. That definitely far. would have. That wow. What a shot. What an athletic move there. So corner in by Melee, who just had that shot. Ball is up and a punch. punch out. Another well defended by North Greenville. Kick by number twelve. That is Alex Hackett, the substitute. So there's a free kick call. Joel Johnson tracks the ball down. So CIU, 11 minutes remaining in the game, has a free kick. Number nine, Tyler Smith passes it over to the right. Settled. And he passes it back middle. That is green to Yakovenko. Yakovenko passes it over to Hackett. Hackett loses it, loses possession. North Greenville has it on the near sideline and it's kicked out by CIU. NGU throw in. Number 35. Ball is in. Missed header. Number 30, C League misses it. Joel Johnson gets pushed in behind. They bring it upfield. Number 35 gets one touch and loses it. Yakovenko with interception. Bad pass, though. Gains it back. He is quick with the ball. Good pass to Alex Hackett. He is not able to chase it down. Doug so Cordy plays it to Baker. NGU passes it back to the goalkeeper, DJ Baker, who has had a good game here. Ball's so on the far sideline. North Greenville brings it up. He shakes off two defenders and is pushed to the ground. It'll be a North Greenville free kick. Ten and a half minutes left. NGU looking for this equalizer. 1-0. Ball plays is it up. Plays to the far sideline of Doug Cordy. Cordy plays it safe to number 35. 35 kicks it in. Two, two headers, headers, three headers. And the clearance is there. It is Looks like Shamari will track it down and head it back into play. Cordy loses the header. Off the chest of Carnoui. Carnoui is going to kick it out, and it is 
very close to a corner, but it will be a throw in for NGU. Deep in the corner. And there is nine minutes and 45 seconds remaining, and we have a substitute in. 33, Asa Wolf on his first appearance on the game. And for CIU, you have uh, number seven, Augustine Arc Ruiz, back in the game for number five, David Druin. Wazrick plays it inside the 18 and loses possession. Looks like CIU's going to look for a counter. No. Nope. They had a two on one, and we're not able to maintain possession. So back with NGU. Sidorian fights off two defenders. Yakovinko. And loses it. Cannot shake off the third. Ah. Cordy retains possession. Oh, Wazrick trips and falls. 35. It's going to be an NGU throw in. And again, back to back to back missed past passes by both teams. So, Cordy on the throw in. Number 30. It's a little give and go. Back to number 30. He's going to try to track it down, but it's going to be a goal kick for North Korea. Here's a question CIU. for you. So, NGU has pressured most of the game, and with about eight minutes remaining, how does, how does fatigue play a factor? Well, that's why you have a bench. You have to play your bench uh, to as far as as far as you can. You want your talent, most talented players in the game, but that's why you do have a bench so you can bring them in down in the in the grind time in the last couple minutes of the game. And Braden Elmer is in for C.J. Jones. Speaking of uh, substitutes for CIU, but I agree. I think uh, both teams have subbed well, so I don't think fatigue should play a factor. But you never know. Oh, well, we're going to have an opportunity here. North Greenville striker tries to run the ball down, and the CIU defender plays the sideline. It's going to be a throw in for North Greenville. Yeah, Nathan Green clears it to the far sideline, uh, using that sideline as an extra defender, and is an NGU throw in. So here we go. Seven minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the game. So North Greenville throws it in toward the 18. Ba ball's inside the 18. Ball the goalkeeper up. comes out and loses it. And he kicks it in. Oh, oh my right over the goodness. Right over the CIU defender. It's going to be a corner kick, though. They're going to go quick. Oh, my goodness. Wow. The goalkeeper was out, and the goal was wide open, and the ball went straight over the defender's foot over the goal. And the NGU Crusader, did who miss who missed kick that? Uh, it wasn't Do we have a, a number? It wasn't a missed kick. The, uh, I believe it was Wazrick who kicked it, and it came off a of north – uh, a CIU defender's leg and went straight over the goal. Well, we have a uh, injured Ram on the field, and he is seeking middle medical attention. So uh, we'll see who that is. I don't know if we have a number there yet or not. Seven thirty-seven left. Seven thirty-seven and a opportunity there for North Greenville. So wow. Uh, so CIU circles up as they're going to try and hold on to this lead for the last seven minutes and 37 seconds of the game. And uh, we will. North Greenville has every single one of their players up except for Gravely. They're putting all their chips in for this one. So that, again, I believe is number 15. Cardo, Car, is it number 15? Yes, it is. It is number 15, Stanford Carnoy. So uh, he is going to be substituted out of the game. And we have number five entering, and that is David Druin. So here we go. Oh, yeah. We have our president in attendance today on the opposite side of the field. So corner came in, but it was uh, not approved by the referee. So he will uh, do it again. All right, corner kick for North Greenville. Sends it in quick. It's going to be way high, way high. The CIU defender heads it, but we North Greenville maintains possession. Gravely has the ball. Kicks it back to the far sideline. North Greenville brings it in, loses it. CIU on the counter. But North Greenville retains possession. Going to play it to the far sideline to Wazrick. High kick on Wazrick. It's going to be a free kick for CIU. Well defended there by Patterson. And it'll be number nine, uh, Tyler Smith, with a free kick. Gives the ball a little backspin and sets up to send it downfield. So here we go. 
Crunch time, seven minutes remaining. Ball is up. Headers won by NGU, but it does go out of bounds. So number 10, Mele, will throw the ball in. The lefty, and we have two substitute. We have 22 and 15 coming into the game, and that is, again, Paul Grande Carpillo and the man that was just injured, number 15, Stanford Carnoy. So they come in and look to make a difference here with six minutes left. So ball is in. And ball kicked out of, out of bounds. It's going to be North Greenville throw in. North Green Wax Facts. Doug Cordy throws it in to Selig. Selig shuffles it and loses it. Mark Ruiz not Shamari able to sell it. Jakub Vinko. Back to Ark Ruiz. Ark Ruiz intercepted by number 14, North Green. North Green playing very aggressive here to try to get a goal here in the last minutes. A little under six minutes left in the game. Again, still looking for their first goal in the, in second, the second half and their first win of the season. So a lot on the line here for North Greenville. Shamari plays it to Cordy. 40 to 35. 35 looks, plays it down the near sideline. Wazrick tries to run it down, and he almost wins it. There's a little physical play there. Wazrick wants it bad, but it's going to be a free kick for CIU. So it looks like 15 is tying his shoe. And the clock does stop, though. NG looked like uh, it was complaining about a stall tactic, but the referee does give the signal to stop the clock. So a free kick is in, and the clock is running. 5.15 remaining. Yakovinko with the header over to Ark Ruiz. Ruiz with a touch pass, another touch pass to offsides. an offsides striker, and that is number 22, Paul Grande Carpillo. It's a quick counter right here. North Greenville brings it up on the far sideline. He's got defenders swarming him, but he plays it. Looks like we're gonna have an opportunity for a cross. I think it's, that's gonna corner. Corner kick. Corner kick for corner. North Greenville on the far sideline. They look back fast with 4:45 left on the clock. Here we go. Buckle in, folks. Here we come. So four minutes remaining. Corner is in. Oh, whistle's blown. Referee. Did not give the approval there. So we will do that again. He talks to a few uh, defenders and, and strikers and we'll try says this calm one down. More time. Ball's in play. Now a little early. A little early on the header. Slide. Oh, the slide tackle. And they, remake, they retake possession. Going to be another corner kick for North Greenville. Just under four minutes. Let's see what we have here. And becoming very the kicker interesting. winds back, sends it back into play. Little low this time. Oh, oh my goodness. Barely off. It's going to be a goal kick for CIU. Just left of the goal post. And my goodness. A good cross, a good corner, CIU a good header. On. And again, another missed opportunity for the Crusaders of North Greenville. That so, was a perfect opportunity for the Man, it was so four close. minutes, four minutes remaining in the game. And we have a goal kick. From Steven Repilog and Repilog to midfield. Yakovinko receives it off his chest to Ark Ruiz. Ark Ruiz back to Yakovinko. Offsides. And he's he offsides. is offsides. That is they, number eight of the game. They actually had two players offsides on that play. So North Greenville looks to counterattack very quickly. Plays it back to Bradwater. He loses it. Three minutes left. Plays it back to the other side of the field. He sends it in. 33 goes for it and loses it. CIU retains possession. And ball is out. It's Bridgewater. From, First Bradwater from on the, the roster. Yeah. So here we go. NGU throw in. And there's like two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Throw in for the game. Ark Ruiz with a touch. Header. Ah, and a clearance there by number eight, Chandler. So a throw in coming uh, far side corner. And a throw in by NGU. Quick throw in. 
Trying to get some distance on this one. North Greenville throws it in. Headed by the CIU defender, but we have a North Greenville number 36. Plays it in gravely, and he kicks it. And the de defender gets right in the way at the right time. And another North Greenville kicks it, and it goes right over. But they still have possession. Sends it back in for the third time. Header by Cordy and saved by the, North, by the CIU goalkeeper. So Revelog with a save, directing traffic. And there is two injured players on the field. Again, number 15. That is uh, Stanford Carnoy. And looks like a CIU defender is helping out a striker of North Greenville with some cramping issues. So referee has paused the clock. And uh, we will resume Cordy, here in a second. So. Cordy's down again. We'd like to make another correct correction. We've been calling uh, Shamari Bridgewater. We've been calling him Shamari Bridewater all game. Our roster says Bridewater, but his last name is Bridgewater, so we apologize for that. It's a little misspelling on our roster sheet. So we have a late substitute here with uh, C.J. Jones re-entering the game for number 22, Paul Grande Carpio. Grande Carpio. So he is from Ecuador. It's like Cordy's frustrated with his injury. He's trying to come back for his junior year, and he's just he's just frustrated with his injury right now. This will be the second time he's had to come off the field. So a good clearance here by the CIU goalkeeper. North Greenville main retains possession. We have an opening here down on the sideline. Oh, Number 17 loses it. CIU plays it back upfield. Jones clearance to Arc Ruiz. Arc Ruiz not able to maintain it. And it goes out off of the foot of number seven. Bridgewater looks for a quick throw in. Hits his teammate, Gravely. Gravely plays it to the opposite side of the field. Sends it in. Wazrick heads it toward the goal, but no one was there. One minute remaining. So here we go. North Greenville's both benches are to their feet. As it is a 1-0 game, clearance there by the goalkeeper of CIU and an aggressive header. North Greenville has it, plays it to 35. 40 seconds. 35 sends it in to the, on the far sideline. CIU maintains it, clears it, deflected off of NGU defender. The defenders are just trying to play it to give the strikers an opportunity. So here 20, we go. 20 seconds left on the clock. Bridgewater has the ball. This could be the he last push it, of the game. Sends it down. There's no opening. There's no break to the CIU defense. Ball is in. Ball is in the 18. Oh, he oh, misses he the header. He misses the header. They still maintain the ball. And that and is the whistle. Game. So... The game comes to an end 1-0 with CIU Rams winning it here late. So, wow. North Greenville falls to 0-8 on the season, and CIU will head back to Columbia with their fourth win. Sixth win. Sixth win. Fourth, yeah, sixth win. So, they will be 6-3-2. Six, six, and two. Yeah, and six, wow. 6-3-2. Six, so... A close game, and uh, I believe a perfect word, perfect two words, I guess, for this game would be missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. Both teams so had many. Both teams. You would have thought with all the opportunities that both teams had, had that it would be much higher than a one-mil score. It very easily could have been a four to two, four to three, five to four. I mean, there could have been a ton of goals, and – it ended up being 1-0, so CIU escapes in Tigerville and is uh, going to jump back on the bus to Columbia, about a two-hour ride down south, and they will go home with a, with a win. So, wow, the Rams escape here in Tigerville. And uh, we will take a quick break and we'll be back with the stats in the upcoming games for both teams.
Welcome back to Tigerville, South Carolina. As we just finished up a very entertaining, very close matched up between North Greenville Crusaders and the CIU Rams. So here we go. The stats are in. And we'll just run through these real quick. Um, the Rams of CIU, we'll go with them first. They had nine total shots, four on goal, and one goal. Um, and Melee had three shots, two on goal. Carnoui had three shots, none on goal. Grande Carpio had one shot, and uh, Yakovinko had two shots. Both of them were on goal, and he had one goal, the only goal of the game. Uh, so the goalkeeper, uh, Repilog, Steven Repilog, had four saves, and uh, the Rams had a total of nine shots and five corners. So, again, missed opportunities there, many shots, many on goal, and, and only one that hit the back of the net. So many, and, and and looking at the stat sheet, many fouls in this game, and there was many more than that were called. Uh, Eleven total fouls called for CIU and ten for North Greenville. So, so it was very, it was a very, very, very physical game. Uh, DJ Baker has three saves, and Rip, Rip, Rip. Rep Logal? <laughs> rep, 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 yeah, Rep Logal. Rep Logal. Rep Logal has <laughs> got me four. tripping. So, um, I did. Yeah, I did. Just go quick. All right. Well, well that's, about, that's about all for stats. So, looking forward, uh, CIU, the Rams, have a 14-day break, and they will come back up to the upstate in Greenville and play at Bob Jones. As a 6 p.m. kickoff, uh, October 16th, 2014, and your Crusaders head to Bristol. Bristol, well, along with their girls, the girls the will girls travel with the guys to play in Bristol. For October their 4th, and I believe that is Saturday. Um, no, it it's not. It, it is a Saturday. It is a Saturday. October 4th at King, and that is obviously a uh, very important game because it is a Conference Carolinas matchup. And just taking a quick look at the um, Conference Carolinas standings, I believe um, that King is above us, so that would be huge to win that. And they are. They are third in the conference, 2-0 and in conference. So Limestone, 7-1, and nationally ranked, 3-0 and in conference. And North Greenville with a lot of room for improvement uh, at the bottom of the pack. So the very bottom. only way up. Only There's only one direction. So... Hopefully they can make a uh, a climb here and win in Bristol and get their first win and get their first conference win and, and get a little bit of momentum and bring it back home when they play Emmanuel, another conference game. So two big opportunities here for NGU they're this also, next week. They're also the only team in the conference that hasn't won a game yet. But they are at the bottom with, I believe, Mount Olive with zero. Yes, with zero Mount wins Olive, in zero conference. conference so, wins. so North Greenville still searching for their first win. But uh, it, I mean, this, the score the scores obviously don't show for their uh, field of play. This North Greenville team is very talented. They're just strugg They're just struggling to put the ball in the back of the net. They're having many opportunities. They just have to capitalize on their opportunities, and we'll see how they do in further action on October on October fourth. Fourth, correct. So um, again, a close game here in Tigerville, South Carolina, and CIU Rams escape with a one zero victory. Um, please join us Saturday, October 4th, as our football team, North Greenville football team, takes on Limestone College. Um, that is a 1 p.m. kickoff, and you can catch us live here on the North Greenville Crusaders Sports Network. Conference Carolinas Championship. So, there you go, a Conference Carolinas Championship, and that is Limestone's inaugural year and the first time playing NGU. So 1 o'clock Saturday, and uh, that is all we have here in Tigerville. I am Luke Edwards, joined by Trace Huggins my partner in crime, and we are signing off. So until next time. Have a good night.